hi friends in this video we will we will move on to next options we have seen in the previous video all the strict options we have seen right now we will move on to the next options so that is what additional checks here if you see these are nothing but what we can say is no used locals no unused parameters no implicit returns and no fall through cases in switch these are all what we can say is these are all comes under code quality checks okay so these all comes under code qualities for example here if you see no used locals so for example here in analytics.ts any, any, anywhere uh, let's say i have one username or something like this okay 90 i have used and i am not using that uh, variable anywhere okay i am not using that variable i have i have declared that one and left it like that but now here if i try to compile it will compile the ts file without any problems now here we have seen the first option that no used locals that means if you have declared any local variables or anything and you are not using anywhere means it will raise an error for this one if you enable this option for example if i enable this option so true now if i go to analytics.ts file sorry where i have written that one oh sorry this one is js file right okay now if i go to analytics.ts file if i go here and if i okay if i try to mention let username is equal to 90 or something like this and now we got an yellow line something like that showing an error if you move over here username is declared but its value is never read okay we got an error here username is declared and we got never declared means so but we have declared the variable but we are not using it so this error is this warning something like warning if you try to compile this file you try to compile this file so the uh, compiler will not compile and it will show an error that username is declared but it values never declared. but we are not we have not written anything just we have declared the variable but we are not using it. so in order to get the unused variables whatever you have used so to know the errors are for that one you can enable this option for example if i if i disable this option and if i go to analytics the here the error will be gone away and if you try to compile this file automatically the code will be compiled so this is the user and no un, no unused locals now here if you see no unused parameters okay in the same scenario no unused parameters for example if i go to main.ts file here we have a function and here i am using age uh, for example here itself something like message string we are using but here we are not using anywhere the message function message this message variable we are not using anything in the function okay but here if you see if I enable this one as a true, okay. If I enable this one as a true, if I go here, I will get an error scripting like here. Why? Because this this function we have used it uh, to send an argument to this function, but we are not using this message anywhere. We are uh, it is it is telling that one. So this error is coming only because of we have used that no unused parameters. So if you have any parameters that are you are not using in the function, so the, if you make it as true, it will generate an error. Okay. So this one is one of the option and here if you have another one you can see is no implicit returns what is this no implicit returns means what we can say is about this implicit returns here if you go in this implicit returns if you see if you, uh, implicit returns is nothing but uh, we have a function here okay we have a function and in this function what we can say mm, leave this function we will write a new function uh, so that the explanation will be clear so i have n1 colon number i have an n2 colon number okay i have a function that is nothing but sorry i forgot to give the uh, name so I, I add function n1 number now i will write a thing something like if n1 plus n2 is greater than zero then only return the n1 plus n2 okay so this is the code i have written so that means what is the what is the uh, logic here so the function add parameter add function is taking two parameters and that n1 and n2 and this n1 and n2 what it is doing so if n1 plus n2 addition of these two numbers is greater than 0 only then return this n1 and n2 if it is not greater than 0 what it is having we are not mentioning any return but this function what it is uh, giving so it is not throwing any error right 
So that means in all cases this function will not return. So in some cases that means n1 plus n2 when greater than 0 only it will return the some data. So that means this return is not consistent. So this function method return is not consistent. It is not returning in all the cases. So but here in the type of compiler it is not showing any error. If you want to show errors in this type of things so you can use this no implicit returns. If you enable this option now automatically what it will do is you will get an error here in this method you will try to you will get an error see here you have for add thing you will get an error so this is telling that this code paths return a value not all code paths return a value so it will check all the possible ways and it will it is telling that in some in some ways it is not returning in all the in all the scenarios it is not returning anything so in this scenario what we need to give if you have any logic or something less you will say simply say you want empty return so now this add function is not throwing any error okay so this is nothing but the implicit returns so no implicit returns. so if you make it as a true so it will make sure that in all the scenarios the function will be returning something okay so this is the thing and another one is no fall through cases in switch fall through cases in switch means so it will say that uh, so switch statement it will give the switch statement error so if you, if you forgot to mention any break or anything means so it will try to tell you the uh, error error it, it will try to tell you that break statement is missing and all those things it will try to give you the error and these are the additional checks these additional checks is nothing but what we can do is so in order to increase the code quality we will be using this additional checks we have seen the no use unused okay unused parameters no implicit returns we have seen right this is the additional checks and here if you come here uh, mo module resolution options these are all something uh, uh comes under advanced features so most of the times we will be not using these all the things so we will leave it like this only so this is out of the concept for us discussion source map we have discussed the source map how to generate the source map and all those things for these configurations this thing most of the times we will keep it like the default only the rare cases we will be changing so it's better for us do, no need to change these all the options and here you will be having another thing something like experimental options experimental options and you, you can see here experimental decorators and decorators meta you have seen so we will this uh, see these things when we co when we cover the decorators thing in the uh, typescript uh, in, in in this course only we will see the decorators concepts and in this concept we can see this one so this is the experimental support for es7 decorators so es7 has this decorator support so experimental support this one is doing so if enabling this one may raise some what we can say code inconsistency code errors and all those things why because these are all experimental options so we will discuss about these decorator things in the uh, future videos so these are this is all about the ts config file in the in the typescript so we will be having so many options other other so many options also will be present so these are the main options what we have covered up to now if you have any doubts or any suggestions in this videos please post the comment below to this video so that i will try to reply for all the comments and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.